Hi, this is Zachary DeVore, and I'm giving you January's tip of the month. So a lot of times, especially this time of year, a lot of people are really interested in setting new goals for themselves, which is always really great. It's really awesome to be able to do that. So why am I bringing this up as a tip? Well, a lot of people tend to run into some problems with that. Usually we start off really good, right? We say, I'm going to do this this year. And then by February, March, things like that, it's fallen off. Why is that? Why can we start, you know, a new goal or something like that so strong, so great, and then it just drops off? Well, usually it comes down to one of two things. So the first thing that I tend to see is that people set goals that really aren't within their control, right? So it's really easy to say something to the effect of, hey, I want to get a raise this year. That's a really great goal, right? It sounds good. It sounds like something that we really want to see happen, but there's a problem. Getting a raise isn't within your control. That's something that's controlled by upper management, HR, your boss, all of these other people have a say in whether or not you accomplish that. So you could come into work, you could give 100%, you could be getting bonuses, you could be getting all of this other really good stuff, you could, you know, be in line for a promotion at some point, but you'll still feel like you failed. Why? Because you set the goal to get a raise and you haven't gotten it. The other thing that I see is that we set up goals that actually lead us to failure instead of setting up goals with the idea of success in mind. What do I mean by that? Well, it's really simple. So if I set a goal and it's something like I want to work out, say, three times a week. Go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Again, sounds like a really good goal, right? We want to be healthier. We want to stay active. We want to be fit. Well, what happens, particularly here in Illinois, we get sick. Um, oh, look, Friday rolls around and we have a blizzard coming in with you know, a foot of snow on the ground, 30 mile an hour winds, and we just want to get home. We don't want to stop at the gym and deal with that and, you know, shower, come outside, it's all cold and everything. Nobody likes that feeling. And so we miss that day or we miss a couple of days because of something else. And then all of a sudden, we stop just going entirely. And usually when I talk to people, I'll say, hey, what what happened here? Why why did you drop off? And they go, well, you know, I said I was going to do it three times a week and I failed. So what seemed like a good idea and a really good goal actually made it easier for us to fail and not follow through with it. So what are some better ways to go about this? What are some better ways to do it? Well, really simple, really basic. For the first one, make sure that your goal is entirely in your control. So instead of, I'm going to get a raise at the end of this year, I'm going to give 100% of my effort at work this year. Or better yet, to go with the next point, I'm going to try to do that. Because there's going to be some days where we aren't feeling it, where things just don't go according to plan. That's okay. It's okay to have those, but plan for them. Include those as part of the goal. Or for that other one, I'm going to be healthier this year. So that includes things like going to the gym regularly. It also encompasses areas of eating differently, you know, doing all of this other stuff that's really important. And more importantly, it doesn't have a failure stipulation. So if I miss a day at the gym or if I miss a week at the gym because I'm sick, hurt, whatever is going on, I haven't failed. I can still work towards being healthier. I can still work towards all of these things. So as you are thinking about goals, as you're thinking about what you want to accomplish 
whether it's at the start of the year or any point in time really that you see it, keep those two things in mind as you're setting your goals and hopefully you'll find that when you do that, you have a lot more success and you feel like you have a lot more control. All right, thanks. Have a good month.